And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets, an assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was going to be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down, but the people already believe the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. I'm surprised your friend Stephen Heck didn't help you put that together. But then, that ended badly, didn't it? Funny thing about lunatics, they're so unpredictable. A trait you share as well, I've noticed. That's all you cared about, then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And millions of people die so you can secure a weapons contract or two. War is good for business, Mike. Cold War is even better. I'm here, Mina. What's wrong? It's Halbeck, Mike. They're going to act. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. That'll be fun until the actual war starts. So what, they're just gonna sit back and let the cash registers fill? Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. That doesn't leave me much to work with. And you're all I've got. All you've got? To do what, exactly? If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. I'm more concerned about Alpha Protocol and Halbeck getting away with this. Me too. After Alpha Protocol is buried, it's all over. Halbeck's involvement will be covered up. The operations in Moscow, Taipei, and Rome will never see the light of day. All we'll see are the consequences. They don't have the full picture. They think they're starting a cold war that they can live off of for years. If Halbeck isn't exposed, if Alpha Protocol isn't exposed... Or both. You're the only one I can turn to, Mike. The only one I've been able to count on through this whole mess. I don't know whether it's your pride, revenge, or a sense of duty that's been pushing you through this. But I trust you. And I've seen you pull off some impossible things. It was always there. And it's not duty. It's about doing what's right. But why do you care? I mean, you are Alpha Protocol. No, Mike, I'm not. And neither is the rest of the team for much longer. What happens next? Depends on you. So, just find a top secret facility, God knows where, defeat the folks that trained me, along with a battalion of agents and marines, recover the evidence of an international conspiracy, and, oh, prevent World War III. Anything else? Do you want more? I could create some more trouble if you really wanted. No need. Although I may need more in a few days, or I'll start getting bored. Well, time to get started. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. The president was taken to... You're late. I almost thought you'd stood me up. I'll forgive you, if you have a good reason. I do, and it's something you'll want to see. Really? I wasn't sure I was going to see you again after Taipei. How could I stay away? You tell me. But since you're obviously here for business, let's hear it and get it out of the way. I have a story for you. It might shed some light on that incident with the airliner in the Middle East. Are you trying to use me, Mike? There you go, throwing away a valuable friendship. Is that all it is? I don't know. And if you have no idea, then I'm certainly not telling. My offer stands. Interested? Your offer 
is on the record, I hope. Wouldn't have it any other way. No conditions? Only that I need you to stay alive long enough to get it to the right people. You've got my attention. Thought I might. Take care of what you had to do. Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Any problems? Just the one headed your way. We'll see. Mike, be careful. Help. Goodbye, Mina. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All then running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I call you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It's a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? It was my duty. I wanted to serve my country. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it all. Does it feel good being a patriot now, Mike? Looking back, everything you did for your country, was it worth it? Because they're not going to do a damn thing for you. They left you out to dry. That's the nature of this place. You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. It was worth it. I'm gonna see this mission through, Leyland. Henry. I'm gonna see you arrested for those people you killed and see that Halbeck answers for its crimes. Really? Count on it. All right, Thornton. I think you misunderstand me. You see, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to offer you a deal. I'm not giving up the film footage, see? I don't care, Mike. That's a separate appointment in my calendar. Right now, we're discussing you and Hellbeck. What are you talking about? If you stay here, it isn't going to turn out well for you. The best you could have hoped for was to be captured by Alpha Protocol. Then they can erase you, quietly. To me, that seems like a waste of talent. Really? Really? Do you know why I used you in the first place? I'm all ears. Because I recognize an asset when I see it. That is the reason Hellbeck is where it is today. And why our numbers are so high. It's also why Mr. Marburg chose to work for me. It's because I recognize value and I reward loyalty. You're offering me a job. Mike, you already work for me. I just like to make it official. We have an excellent insurance package. What makes you think I'd even consider that? Because you can't go back. You killed CIA agents in the line of duty. Those Marines you killed in Moscow. No American agent gets away with that in the end. You're not pretending to be a rogue agent anymore. You are one. They'll execute you. Me? I have a different perspective on the situation. I know what you did needed to be done to achieve results. It's a rare quality to find someone willing to think outside the box. Nice poetry. You rehearsed that? It's been on my mind. This was the same talk Marburg and I had a long time ago, although I didn't know his agency connection when I hired him. You're a special case. I was able to recruit right from the source. So, a few things. One, you're going to be executed at worst, or at best, spend life in a CIA prison in Eastern Europe. 
Two, this will be the last conversation you will have with another human being. And three, it really wasn't my fault that this whole situation happened, but I think you already recognize that. I'm listening. Mike, your government needed my contracts. They hired me to build this place. And worst of all, they created you. Worst of all? Yes, because when they create programs like this, there's no accountability. And when people never have to answer for the things they do... Sometimes actions need to be taken without the red tape. It's necessary. No, it's not. You're sitting in a cell because of it. Your life over. Because of something they did, they'll never have to answer for. I can fix that. We can fix that. How? Make them accountable. I don't need Alpha Protocol anymore. It's going to be shut down, sanitized. But if selected footage reached the world about its presence, well, that might be the best for all parties. What? So you can make new hostilities? Drive up sales? My role in this is already protected. You got my missiles back. Shahid is dead, and all your operations in Taipei, Moscow, Rome, it didn't change anything. I can give you freedom, a new lease on life, even a villa of your choosing anywhere in the world. All I need is your cooperation. So, is it a deal or not? A future or no future at all? I've given it careful thought. Forget it. I'm never working for you. <sighs> Disappointing. Although, one last thing I'm curious about. Since you have every angle covered, what happened to that footage, Mike? The one of the airliner you had in your possession? It's safe. Oh, you mean with Scarlet? What? You mean safe with Scarlet. That's who you gave it to. I didn't say that. No, she did when we asked. She's here, you know. She was resistant at first, but... If you hurt her. I'll have her tortured if I have to. Make no mistake about it. Who knows what sorts of secrets she can reveal. But enough about her. You've lost all your efforts for nothing. You can't stop us. If you say so, who am I to contradict you? You're a confident man, Agent Thornton. But there's no place for you to run now. Soon, all trace of this facility will be erased, and you along with it. After all, it never really existed in the first place. Leyland? Hmm? What is it? You've got something on your tie. Childish. Maybe, but it's a start. A little taste of the humiliation to come. If that's all you've left, Thornton, I overestimated you. Of course you did. See, when all's said and done, you're going to be the media's next best friend, Leyland. I promise you. Amusing. Not really. Well then, you'd best get to it, Mr. Thornton. You have an hour. I look forward to your efforts. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. I don't like to brag. You have little to boast about, even if you were so inclined. Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albeck, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Not a chance. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. I'm sorry, sir, but we have our orders. When they administer the meds, the end will be quick. Michael, darling, I was wondering why you were tied up, although I had not expected the reason to be so literal. Z, good to see you. You'll have to excuse me if I don't get up. Oh, you will 
rise to the occasion, Michael, I am sure. It is good you have time to rest with all this trouble going on. This bed, is this is how you woke up here, yeah? The restraints were a little weaker the first time, and I'm not doped up. The restraints? Hmm. Are they too tight? Enough with the small talk. Why are you here, Z? I am here because I never got the chance to tell you my feelings. And now you have no choice but to listen. Great. Why, Michael, I never thanked you. Humiliating Conrad like that. A girl dreams of such things happening to her boss. Good. If you want to thank me, then let me go. Not quite yet, I think. You are a good agent, Michael. But you see, that is your problem. If you keep taking orders, you will not be free. Not really. This is why you are tied up now. Can you get to the point? I'm late for my own execution. Leyland, I have seen his talks with you. The recordings. He is right in a way. Following blindly without question, it opens itself to abuse. I heard this already. Yes, but now I will show you how this lesson helps you. I do not like orders so much. I break the rules all the time. Sometimes I ask too many questions. For example, why are you restrained like this? When it would be so much more fun if you were free shooting people. I would agree. Because things look so much better when lit by muzzle flashes, I think. You made it out, I see. Resourceful. You look naked without your weapons. They are in the locker nearby. Get dressed, and let us start back. Now, you must get to the Global Monitoring Center and get access to the system. And all its secrets. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Looks like I've got a message. Big one. What the hell are all these files? Recordings? Agent Thornton, I have been attempting to reach you without success. Oh, man. I've been preoccupied. I am calling to warn you and to ask for your assistance. After the attack on President Sung, we analyzed the camera footage from the security systems and from news crews attending the rally. This footage is attached. The woman you were traveling with, Scarlet Lake. Do you know her well? Uh-oh. We have several recordings that show her with a sniper rifle at the rally. She was well hidden, but she was unable to mask her presence entirely. She is the one who attempted to assassinate President Sung. Do whatever checks you need to do on the footage. We are convinced of her role in this. She must answer for this. But we have been unable to find her, or reach you. I do not believe you had a hand in this, Agent Thornton. And I trust you will do what is right. But if you are responsible, there is nowhere you both can hide from me.
easy. I could use your help. Can you come meet me? Yeah, I will need to be quick, I'm afraid. It's like the flooding is wet. Then get to high ground, Michael. I'm sure the rats will follow. It's a cleaning. Michael, do not be afraid. Go on in. I'll cover the door so that you are not uh, interrupted. charges. Keep an eye out for Thornton. He's still around here.
Yes, I'd like to copy all the jewel in the clouds. No, don't overwrite duplicates. Parker, stop. We get the warning. for the wreckage. There might be survivors. for you. This is the real deal. Keep him busy. I'll be back in a second. The only way out is through here. Come on now.
sound of people dying. All done here. Just getting rid of some staff. I asked for more weapons and ammo on the chopper. The one that has the missile accident. Get to it. See what you can recover. choice is yours, Agent. I'm leaving. I said. 
suggest you do the same. Michael, the transport is coming in, and the base is going to Hurry and kill your friend, please. Looks like Leyland just pulled out his control. He's got a phone in the air. Remove the pests, and then go in after your boss. Without his men, I think he will be more direct with you. Looking to serve up some good old fashioned humble pie. Please, Agent, don't be a fool. How dare you hit me? And that's my life. I can keep this up all day. Now, tell me what else I can't do. You think you can give me orders? Think you have control of this situation? Thornton, hold on. I. I'll give myself up. Testify, if that's what you want. I can say what happened here, with your mission. And all I have to do is let you go, right? See, that's where you lose my interest. Goodbye, Leland. Thornton, please. I can pay you. I can't say I'll be sad to leave this place, although knowing where here is would be nice. Guess there's not much else to do except head out and see what happens. Story of my life. No sense changing it now. Then again, maybe losing myself for a while might not be so bad. Now the only challenge is to keep from getting bored. At least now I've got time to figure it out, and maybe change a few things about the world while I'm at it. <laughs>